Jared here, and today I'm going to be in Caseville, Michigan. Originally, I was going to come up to Caseville and film the downtown area as part of my downtown series, but when I got up there, I realized the annual cheeseburger festival that goes on in Caseville, Michigan started uh, this weekend. So it was a little bit too crowded to do any downtown filming other than the the festival itself. So today we're just going to take a quick look at that. Walked around, filmed the booths and had a cheeseburger and took a quick look at the beach but I will return to, to Caseville to do an actual downtown video because it did look like there was some cool stuff that I would have liked to have explored a little bit better but anyway kind of a quick one like I said wasn't planned but I hope you enjoy cheeseburger festival so we're out here trying to figure this out I believe the cheeseburger fest takes place right here in the downtown which is where we're heading at the moment lots of cool little a uh, little booth set up and cheeseburger booth as well. But wow, look at this. Interesting. So while it's probably not the first cheeseburger booth in town, it's the first one we've come across. And it's the 2018 Best Cheeseburger winner. But look at that line for it. You can see it with the cars. It's all the way out into the street. But we're going to keep looking. Joel wants the best 2021 cheeseburger. Sure then he's gonna go to 20, then 19 and 18. Tomorrow. Right here next to Walt's restaurant, we have found the 2019 best cheeseburger winner. Looks like they got quite a little setup. This line is really long and wrapped around the building down the street as well. Those are pretty good prices for a cheeseburger. Six bucks or seven dollars for pulled pork. <laughs> Not bad at all. Oh yeah, dude, look at this line. I gotta walk in the street. Holy crow, look at that. Joel, it just keeps going. That's wild. So we finally reached the end of the 2019 line and then you can see now the dual line going over to here, around into this uh, fenced area. We're not sure which winners or losers or what's going on in there, but we're about to find out. But that 2019 winner, that was a two block line. Oh man, this whole, this is great. The whole town smells like cheeseburgers. We've still not reached the end of town, but we've got another little cheeseburger food truck type thing there. And then check this out. Get your bite to eat and come down here. Eat by the water. At some point we are gonna go out to the beach and take a look at the lake. We are heading into what is called Key North, I guess, or at least that's what all the signs are saying. It looks like there's quite a little bit of booths up there. I don't know how many food booths there are, but we'll take a look. And then over here, there's a, I guess it's a restaurant called Cheeseburger. These lines are nuts. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take us to actually get a burger once we decide on a place, but lots more food here. Not all burgers either, like there's a, crab shack up there that's selling a crab on a stick and there's some food type fair food fair food type stuff back in there sorry I think it's pretty much the end of the line we're gonna go ahead and go around the corner up here but I think it pretty much is thinned out so there might be we can see a tent down there with some smoke coming out of it there's probably some booths down that way but I think this is as far as we're gonna go we're gonna actually turn back around go up the other side of the street and check this is fun. I've seen a ton of these little vehicles with the pool floaties on top. This one's a flamingo. There's been some giant rubber ducks. That's pretty cute. It's five o'clock somewhere, it says. I guess they're not all pool floaties. That one's just a giant flamingo stuffed animal. And I was wrong. We kept walking. There is more stuff further down the road. Oh, and down there looks like, well, they got some cornhole going on here, but down there looks like they might be doing a concert later. Okay, now we have officially found either the beginning or end of Cheeseburger Fest, depending on which way you're coming. So now we can turn around and finally get a cheeseburger. So we have finally decided on where we're going to start eating cheeseburgers at. And you can see right here, that little sign, that's where I was at a minute ago. So this is the first booth, and it's two winners. It's the 2015 on the other side of this tent, and then this one that we're looking at right now is the 2021. You can see the prices there. We did order a few of the 2021 winter loaded burger. Okay, so I was incorrect. That booth was both 2015 and the 2021 winter. I got what was called the Swamp Burger. 
And this is the loaded burger. That is what was the winner in 2021, and I assume probably 2015 as well, because it wasn't mentioned on the sign. And that one's just a regular little cheeseburger. Most everybody got the loaded one. So BK's Burger Shack, it was really good. They have probably the best location. It's uh, the most manageable line we've seen so far today. It's right here at the beginning. And like I said earlier, it was a 2015 and 2021 winner, not the 2021 winner alone. Actually, I'm thinking the beginning of town right here is the best place to get any of the burgers. All the lines are manageable. There's another uh, booth right here. It looks like all of the most recent winners are right here at the beginning of town and the lines are all manageable. This one's the 2020 winner. So you can pretty much get right up there. And I'm not sure if they're being tongue in cheek or they've already won 2022. Hmm, the Tropical Rum run a stunner. $11, sounds good. The cool thing with this booth is you also have some covered seating. I think that's the first covered seating I've seen so far on an individual booth. That might be the big winner. So this up here is interesting. I don't think this is a seasonal booth. I'm thinking either this is not a booth at all or it's like open year round. Four hot chicks, one dumb guy. Uh, I'm thinking it's not actually a burger thing. I think this is just somebody's little beach house or something. Well, maybe not, look up there. Some covered seating. Hmm. Maybe they come out at night. This is like the evening burger place. Oh yeah, this is for sure is something. I'm not sure if it's here all the time or not, but yeah, look, they got the grill back there. You really could miss those two booths too if you come in from the other side of town and walk because it looks like Initially, if you're walking from the other way, that this area up here is the end of the Cheeseburger Festival, which is a shame because they got the 2022, 20, 21, 20, and 15 winter down here. Here's a much better view of this little food area I was showing earlier in the day where you can get the fair style food just around the corner and some other non cheeseburger food, like up here you can get corn dogs, uh, crab on a stick, you know, just different type of stuff I guess. So unfortunately I'm not able to show a whole lot of the actual town due to the Cheeseburger Fest, but I did want to point this out. I'm not sure if it's a condominiums or apartments or even a little hotel, but I really like this building. It's right here on the river. It's about quarter after four and while there is still quite a few people here, it looks like it's calmed down quite a bit from when we were first arrived. Just to show you how much it's calmed down when we first came in, this is Walt's restaurant and the line for the little burger booth on the other side was all the way down to right about here where Caseville Gifts and Books is located. So not nearly as many people, but I'm sure as it gets a little bit closer to dinner time, business is probably going to pick back up again. This is a better shot of the 2018 winner. Much more manageable line. So I guess this is the way to do it if you're coming in. Come in a little bit, you know, more towards four o'clock and uh, you'll have a much easier time getting a cheeseburger. Traffic's died down a little bit too. I mean, there's still people coming in, but not like earlier. So this is the far end of town. I think this is the last of the cheeseburger fest. We'll walk up here in a second, but check this out. This Brew Moon Coffee Shop. I think it's closed, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I can see the sign from here, seven to three. Man, what a bummer, because that looks pretty sweet. Oh well, I'm gonna make sure I hit it up next time, because I will come back and do Caseville as one of my downtown videos, not just Cheeseburger Fest. And I'm getting coffee there. So if somebody in the know could inform me, what's up with the uh, Flamingos? Is that the mascot of Cheeseburger Fest, or is it? the mascot of the town, like the Caseville Flamingos. I've seen them everywhere, so that definitely has some meaning here. I'm just uh, unaware of what that meaning is. So as I get closer to this firehouse, I realize that it's actually like a fundraiser for a little girl, looks like her name's Hannah, to help beat leukemia. So if you're gonna make it out to Cheeseburger Fest in the next week or two, maybe stop by here, get a burger, drink, or chip, and uh, 
help the little hand out. So that's pretty cool. You come out here and you can get a burger. You can also check out all the search and rescue or fire and rescue equipment that Caseville has. Very nice. I'm definitely going to come back because there's a, still a lot of stuff I want to explore in this town just when this festival's not going on. Like I'm really curious what this Bay Theater is. And it looked like there were some real interesting shops down there. So even though I'm going to come back and do a little bit better video on the downtown, I did want to come over here and at least scope out the beach. And it looks like a really nice beach. It's a little bit cold today, it's not even 70. But look at the size of this beach here. We'll go down to the water here real quick. Just take a brief look. This beach has a little, I don't know, it's a little stage, looks a little worse for wear. It's got a nice little ice cream shop, and it says for sale. So if you're in the market to buy an ice cream shop in Caseville, Michigan, the opportunity awaits you. I can't believe how empty this beach is. Look at this little boat coming. Well, not little, it's probably huge. Tell you what, the Great Lakes in Michigan, at least Lake Huron and Lake Michigan, are absolutely beautiful. Well, I want to thank you for joining me here today in Caseville, Michigan, as I took a quick, brief look at Cheeseburger Festival. It wasn't the planned video. I was going to do just the downtown, as like I said earlier, but, you know, hey, it was going on, so we took a quick look. Um, and we took a really brief look at this beach, which seems like a really nice beach. It's really big and there's hardly anybody here, probably because it's actually pretty chilly. But anyway, I will come back to Caseville, uh, maybe even this year, and film the downtown because I saw a lot of interesting shops and little things that I wanted to look at, but it was just way too crowded to do any of that today. So, thanks for watching.